my name is Elle and welcome to Lipstick Sunday. I feel like I need to change the name of this series a little bit. I'm still going to call it Lipstick Roulette for now just to keep it going, but it's really not a roulette project anymore. So I used uh, nine different lipsticks over the last two weeks and I used them in a couple different ways and then obviously repeated a bunch of shades. They're all nudes. So I only swatched my top five, but I also have a couple of variations using lip liners because I've been reintroducing those back into my rotation a little bit. I'm really not settled on how I want these lipstick Sunday videos to go. Um, I might end up switching it to every month after all, and that way I can throw in another video. I just, I feel like I have so many ideas and I don't want to keep doing the same like couple of things over and over again. It just, it loses its appeal after a while. So the first lipstick I'm going to talk about is from Lime Crime, and this is Marshmallow. It is a very light, pale pink, very pretty, safe color. A lot of the shades that I wore actually... All of the shades I wore were our very safe, nude, neutral colors. That's just what I was feeling, I guess. I was a little bit heavier on the eyes, and I was just very boring on the lips. It's what happens. Um, so Marshmallow, I really like wearing it on its own. I also wore it two different days with a lip liner. So one day I used a ColourPop lip liner all over my lid. This is skimpy and it's just a darker neutral pink color. And then I would put Marshmallow on top of that. Doesn't really change much. It just makes Marshmallow a little bit deeper. I don't find that the Lime Crime Velveteens need a lip liner underneath, or at least most of them don't, um, but I liked the effect and I like being able to change stuff up a little bit. I also just find that liquid lipsticks in general last longer or just don't fade as weirdly when you have a lip liner underneath because when it starts to fade away you still have that lip liner. So I like just to mix it up and that's what I really missed um, was my lip liners because I have a few that I actually really do like. So I also used Marshmallow with this lip liner from MAC. This is Boldly Bare. Another neutral lip liner. Uh, this one is a little bit more brownish than skimpy and I was using this on the outer corners of my lip and sort of creating like an ombre effect. I actually learned that tip at a MAC counter um, a couple years ago. It, she did that on me when she used a lipstick and she just sort of contoured like the inner corners a little bit and I really liked the way that it looked and I've been doing that now with a bunch of my different lipsticks because I like the effect. It's usually pretty subtle with nude lipsticks. Like if you could you can go really dramatic with it and do a really dramatic ombre but I just like to bring a little definition to the outer corners just for something a little bit different. When I'm, when I'm looking at my makeup and I'm like you know what something is missing. I just need a little something. I can just use do a little lip contouring. I also used another Velveteen. I used Cashmere. This is a cool toned neutral lipstick. I love the way that this one looks on me. I just, this is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is one of the few that I could wear over and over and over again. I love the formula. I love the shade. It's just all around good. I, I love lipsticks that have like little hint of like gray in them. I've been really feeling those and I wish I had more keyword wish. I really don't have any plans on adding new lipsticks to my collection with the exception of one from Anastasia because it's named Stevie and I'm 100% buying it for the name. Already decided on that one but that's the only addition I'm planning to make because uh, I just want to use the ones that I have and I just I have things that I really do love like cashmere and if I love it I might as well keep using it and get my enjoyment from it instead of trying to find something else that's similar to it. I also used another lip lingerie from NYX. I used Satin Ribbon. So I used this on its own and then I also did the lip contour thing with uh, this lip liner Morning Coffee which is one of my all-time favorite lip liners. This is a really gorgeous deep neutral color. I, just, I love this shade and the name is so perfect because it really is pretty brown. It's so good. It's so good. So I would do the contour thing but then I would also just outline my lips with this lip liner and then cover it with the lip lingerie 
to just get a little bit of a deeper effect instead of just coating my lips with morning coffee and then putting the lip lingerie on top of it. I just didn't feel like they matched very well, but just a little bit of it, I could get a little bit more definition. I've been trying really hard to avoid that terrible um, nude lip with the brown lip liner thing. I was obsessed with that back in the early 2000s. I like wanted it to make a comeback. The pale lip and the brown lip liner, like it was just, it's so bad. It looks so tacky sometimes, but I just, I'm, I guess I just am a very tacky person. Other standouts for me over the last two weeks were ColourPop's Times Square, one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. It's starting to get a little bit dry, which makes you really sad because I really love it, so I'm going to have to get more use out of it. I've noticed that a lot with my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. They're starting to get a little bit dry, so they're not as liquidy as they were before. They don't apply as easily. It really does make me sad because I have so many of them, and that really was not smart of me. I just got really obsessed with them really fast, and I bought all of them. Don't do that. Learn from my mistakes and don't buy all of the liquid lipsticks at the same time because you will not be able to use all of them like you think you can. Um, and Times Square is also an ultra matte and I love the ultra mattes. I just, I love when a lipstick just sticks to my face and now that it is a little bit drier it actually sticks a little bit better so I have a love-hate thing going on now with the drier formula. And the last standout lipstick is from Stila. It's one of the Stay All Day liquid lipsticks and this is Bocce, another cool toned lipstick. I'm actually wearing Bocce and Times Square layered together on my lips right now because why not? Uh, mixing and matching things is becoming a little bit more fun just because I'm not confined to the certain amount of lipsticks for the week. I'm just having fun mixing things and playing around with different things. So that's been good. Um, the other four, which I just didn't bother swatching because like it's more neutrals. Um, another NYX Nick lip lingerie in corset. I actually wore this in a video not that long ago. The Pan Up Palette update I did. So if you haven't seen that, you should definitely go check it out. It's a, yet again, another cool toned lipstick. And then I have some more warmer liquid lipsticks, Anastasia's Naked, a little bit peachy. Actually, the other two are peachy as well. I guess that's the uh, the phase I was in, no surprise really. Um, Instigator and Autocorrect, both from ColourPop. Instigator is a more of a true peach and Autocorrect is more of a peach toned brown lipstick. I like brown lipsticks a lot and I do love that little hint of peach in them. I've really just been feeling peach again. I'm right back in that phase where I wish I could just do monochromatic peach makeup all the time. I just love orange. I love orange makeup. I just love the way that it looks and contrasts with my eyes and everything else. So that was my very boring lipstick check-in. Nothing very exciting. Um, I just don't tend to reach for those more dramatic crazy colors because some of them are not really work appropriate and some of them are just way too high maintenance for work and when I'm leaving at seven o'clock in the morning and not getting back till five o'clock in the evening trying to keep up with a lipstick that's a little bit of a crazy color or hard to work with formula is just not worth it so I'm gonna stick with the neutrals it also helps that I don't have to worry about the lipstick I'm choosing so I can do whatever I want with my eyes first and then choose the lipstick and where I'm concentrating on panning stuff right now my eyeshadow tends to be a little bit heavier than it might normally be so anyway I love lipstick a lot I'm just not feeling this project anymore um, in case you guys missed my last update where I talked about that I'll, I'll talk about it just briefly again um, that I, I have been a little concerned with some of my stuff expiring, but I also feel like the project has reached its end point for me. I have a lot of lipsticks, but I also like to use a lot of different things. And I just, I don't want to declutter for the sake of decluttering. It would just be totally pointless. I tried doing that before and I, it just didn't work for me. I ended up keeping stuff and going through them with the lipstick roulette. That's why I created lipstick roulette in the first place because it just wasn't working for me. So anyway, I might do this monthly and sort of combine it with my um, makeup basket because you guys might know that I'm starting a new series called What I Wore, which I will ta be talking about the makeup I wore for 
each month where I'm not doing as many painting projects as I once was. So maybe to correspond with that, whatever week I'm going to do that, I will also do my Sunday lipstick roulette as what I wore for the month, maybe something like that. And I'll just, I'll swatch my standout stuff and anything that's different, but I won't swatch everything because there's no point anymore. I've swatched pretty much everything. Anything that's new or I haven't swatched before, I'll definitely swatch. But I'm not gonna, you know, swatch marshmallow if I happen to use marshmallow again. It's just pointless. Yeah, I get to use the lipstick a few more times, but nobody is learning anything from it anymore and it's not fun anymore. I guess this is the main point of it. These lipstick roulette videos um, have lost a bit of their appeal for me and I feel like they've lost a bit of their appeal for you guys as well. Just a feeling I have just because it's changed and it was exciting at first and now that it's going in a different direction it's not as fun. So anyway I do think going monthly will probably be the best decision with this and then I get to throw in something new and I'm really excited for that um, because I have so many ideas and I just keep writing idea after idea after idea. I have lists and lists of things that I want to do that I just never get around to because my time is incredibly limited which sucks because I just love doing this so much so anyway thank you so much for spending some time with me today I really truly appreciate it I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you I will see you next Sunday for hashtag 365 days of samples and in two weeks time for something completely different if you have any suggestions or ideas for things you would like to see me do please leave them for me in the comments or send me a message or whatever I love hearing from you guys it's uh the connection is why I do this. It's just so much fun meeting so many like-minded people who I can talk about makeup with. It's, it's so much fun. So anyway, um, that's all I have to say and I hope I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.